Hey guys, Tori Lynn here. Welcome to my channel. Happy month of Halloween. Since it's Halloween, I decided to do a couple easy costume looks. If you guys want to see how to become Mary Poppins, just keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before this movie starts. And if you like the video, leave a like. All right, jumping right in. Let's start by putting some under eye cream on. I'm going to use the Maraud Renewing Eye Cream. And I'm just going to put a little dab of this guy. Like a half pump is all you need. I'm just going to put that under each eye just to uh, get a little deep puffing going on. Now we're depuffed. We're going to moisturize our face with our Clinique Dramatically Different Gel Moisturizer. And I'm going to mix that with the Cosmetics Pure C Vitamin C Powder. I have been mixing this with my moisturizer every day because I have a lot of redness. And I'm just going to keep using it until I feel like maybe things have changed or it's gone. I don't know. <laughs> Now the last thing I'm gonna do to prep my skin is a little bit of some primer. I'm gonna use the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I'm just gonna again use just a little bit of this guy. This stuff's really thick, but it's just a little bit of that. For foundation, I'm gonna be using again the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. And I'm going to use my dampened beauty sponge to put that on. And I just use a pump and a half because a little of this bad boy goes a long way. And I'm just going to put a little around each section of the face and buff it out. Okay, once your foundation is blended out, I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and conceal. Today I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Fairest. I'm just gonna go and put a little under each eye. The nose, forehead and chin like always. And then I'm going to use that same beauty blender and just buff it out. I'm just using my Cody Translucent Air Spun Powder to bake my eyes and then I'm gonna go and buff out the rest of the face. And then I'm just gonna go back and set some of my crucial areas that like to crease on me. All right, now we are baked. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip Pomade in the shade Taupe. And I will be right back. And we're back with my brows on. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and set my lids. And I'm gonna use again my Cody Translucent Air Spun Powder. And I'm just gonna use the same brush I use every day, just a tapered brush here. I'm just going to set my lids. I'm thinking today, since I'm doing Mary Poppins, she's kind of a softer look, which this was a look I did for Halloween last year. That's why I have the costume and everything already. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte Original Tartlet Palette. This 
was not the first one I bought. I actually bought the In Bloom palette first, but which is more browns and reds, and this one's kind of cooler toned. It's really pretty. Um, I'm going to be using a couple different shades in here. I'm going to use the shade Wander, which is this really light brown, which will be perfect for a crease shade. And then I'm going to be using this darker shade here called Dreamer. We're not going to be getting too crazy with the shadow today. I feel like she's a pretty simple woman as far as her beauty products go. Um, we're also going to be going to be using the shade Super Mom, which is this really pretty vanilla cream shadow here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first shade Wander, which was the lighter of the two brown shades. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease with a crease brush. And I'm gonna focus this shadow pretty heavily throughout the whole crease all the way in. This eye look is probably gonna be a pretty similar version to my vampy fall look. It's just gonna be softer. I'm not gonna go as heavy. We're not gonna put as much depth into it. We're probably going to be just doing something pretty similar. I've got that light shade or that lighter crease shade in. I'm going to go in with just a slightly darker shade with, again, another fluffy brush. This one doesn't need to be too much of a detail brush, but it's going to be the shade Dreamer. And I'm going to work that shade into the outer half of the eye. Um, these shadows are pretty pigmented, so you're definitely gonna have to go in and blend them out. I'm just using a fluffy blending brush, and I am just going to buff that darker shade out, just blend it really nicely into the transition shade. Once we're satisfied with the blending, we're gonna go in with that Super Mom shade, which was the light creamy vanilla shade. A little standard packing brush, and we're just gonna put that on the lid. I don't feel like Mary Poppins is a real shimmery woman, so I'm gonna stick with the matte shade for this. Her personality shines enough. Let's stop with the eyes for a minute. We're gonna jump back into the face. And we're gonna set the rest of our face again using the Cody Translucent Air Spun Powder. And I'm just gonna use a face brush here. Or sweep away that excess baking. Since I'm going to be wearing white today, I made sure and extra set my foundation that I blended down onto the neck. It will probably still get on my shirt, but you know, as much pre prevention as we can. Let's go ahead and bronze up. I'm going to use my same bronzer that I pretty much use every day, the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. And I'm just going to use my favorite P12 Aesthetica brush and bronze her up. Also gonna bronze up that jawline and the forehead. And then we're gonna go ahead and contour the nose. And I'm just gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills fluffy brush here, dip it into my bronzer and just carve out the edges of the nose. I feel like Mary Poppins has a pretty rosy cheek, so I'm gonna use the Note blush in the shade Desert Rose. It's a really kind of neutrally pretty blush. Um, 
I feel like she's got pretty rosy cheeks, so I'm gonna go in with a pretty heavy hand, but I chose this because it's pretty natural colored. It's not got a lot of tons of pink. Not got a ton of pinks or reds in it. It's just pretty peachy natural look. But I go in with a fairly heavy hand and then a little on the nose. And although Mary Poppins probably didn't really wear a lot of highlighter, it is the time of the highlight. So I'm gonna use my Mary Luminizer from The Balm with my big Jumbo Kabuki fan brush and just sweep a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a fairly light hand with this because this is such a pigmented highlighter. I probably could have chose one that wasn't so pigmented, but you know, she my fave, so I use her anyway. Back into the eyes, we're mostly done with the face. We're gonna go back to the eyes and I'm gonna use the NYX, what is this actually called? Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black. It's just another felt tip liner. I had been using the um, Kat Von D tattooed liner, but it was starting to get a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy today. I'm just gonna do a standard liner, no wing or anything, nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Urban Decay uh, Vitamin Infused Complexions Prep Spray. Do a set it and forget it. And I'm gonna jump in with my Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara and go ahead and coat those lashes. If you also wear falsies, go ahead and toss those on at this point. Okay, now before I forget, we're gonna do one of the most important pieces of the eye. That is the inner corner highlight. I am going to be using the shade Gentle from Unique. Same shade I wear every day. It's this really pretty rosy champagne eyeshadow color. I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner and the brow bone. I see I got a little bit of mascara on my shadow and a trick I learned a long time ago is to take a brush, take a little spoolie brush and once it's dry, just go and kind of rub over it. But it usually doesn't really take off a lot of the extra product, it just takes off the mascara, which is wonderful. Okay, now Mary Poppins has a pretty kind of reddish lip to me so I'm gonna use this elf lippy here in the shade Brett So I kind of chose this color because it looks super red in the bottle, but it has to me a little bit of a corally orangey tone. Not a ton, but just a hint of one. I don't feel like she has a true red lip and I feel like this isn't a true red lip when it's actually on. And I see I have a little bit of concealing I need to do on this side. So I'm just gonna take my uh, concealer brush that I use to do my brows and I'm gonna use my too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Put a little dab on the back of my hand. Then I run the edge of my brush through it. I feel like when you wear a red lip, a lot of times you gotta go back there and kind of perfect because red lips can get a little messy. This is kind of what I did for the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and show you guys what I did for my costume. So I kind of felt like I chose things I could reuse or rewear in the future. 
that wouldn't be just for this costume aside from the hat. That's kind of something I don't think I would ever wear. But I also have to pull my hair back. So let's do for that. For my outfit, I've got just a simple white button up t-shirt, just a simple black skirt, and then some little black booties. Um, if you are going out on Halloween, I would recommend wearing a pair of tights. And then of course, I got just a little red satin bow tie. And I actually made this hat. I bought the hat itself from Spirit Halloween. And then I went over to Michael's and I bought some red and white flowers and some little red cranberries and just hot glued them on, kind of looking at a picture of her hat. Uh, to finish this look off, I also I don't have a I don't have a carpet bag like she's got, but I got a big freestanding bag. So I got this and just an umbrella to finish her off. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.